This is no ordinary sightseeing tour. We're about to push the boundaries of what we know, explore the fringes of the unknown, and maybe, just maybe, find something truly extraordinary. So grab your sense of adventure, put on your explorer hat, and get ready to embark on a journey unlike any other. Number 15. In Chayla's Atacama Desert, there's a huge hand sculpture called La Mano del Desierto, or the Hand of the Desert. It's 36 feet tall and stands in the flat desert, visible from miles away. More than 25 years ago, the town of Antofagasta asked an artist to create a monument for the empty desert, and this hand was unveiled in 1992. It's made of solid concrete around an iron wire frame, even taller than a football post. The Atacama Desert is very dry and flat, but the high salt content makes it treacherous. Travelers are advised to have a full gas tank and plenty of water. The emptiness can be mesmerizing, but driving too fast is risky. Number 14. Imagine you live in Tunisia in the year 2014. There's a big problem because there's not enough rain and it's really hot. Everyone is suffering from the heat and you're feeling miserable. But then, one day, a friend tells you some incredible news. A huge lake, one million cubic meters big and over one hectare in size, has appeared out of nowhere in the middle of the desert. It's like a miracle. This actually happened in Tunisia. People were struggling with a severe drought, and suddenly there was this enormous lake called Lake de Gaza, or just Gaza. Many people, desperate for relief from the scorching 40 degrees Celsius weather, flocked to this mysterious lake. At first, the water was clear and blue, but after a while, it turned greenish. Scientists warned that the water might be harmful, but it was so hot that people didn't seem to care much. Even though there's no official explanation for why the lake appeared, scientists think it might be because of a seismic shift under the ground, forcing the water to come up. It's like the people in Tunisia got really lucky. It's as if someone or something was looking out for them during a tough time. Number 13. In a faraway place called Pua and Nemos Oasis, our next stop is in one of the most isolated parts of the world, the middle of the Sahara Desert. Anomalous is an old volcano crater that's a popping four kilometers wide. It's surrounded by ash for 10 to 20 kilometers. What a sight it must be. But there's one thing you should know. The lakes and water around it are full of mosquitoes. That's why it's called the Oasis for Mosquitoes, or in another way of saying it, the Crater of Mosquitoes. I personally like the second one because it sounds like the name of a cool metal album creator of the mosquitoes. All these lakes and small water spots are formed around a small black cone at the center, which spews out ash. This keeps the area fertile and supports life around it. If you decide to visit, you can camp in the surrounding areas. Just a heads up, bring mosquito repellent and bug nets. Otherwise, it might be the itchiest adventure ever. The Sahara has many places like this scattered around. Even though the water isn't drinkable due to high salt content, this oasis has been a watering hole for centuries. It helps tired travelers rest and get fresh water during their long journeys across the desert. Number 12. The Kotsky Pillar Monastery is a special place, but I have to be honest, I have a fear of heights. This monastery is way up high, about 130 feet or 40 meters above the ground. So, it's not something I would want to visit. It's on top of a big rock made of limestone, and you can only get there by climbing a thin iron ladder attached to the side of the rock. The monks who go there every day for their prayers use this climb as a time to think and feel closer to God. Climbing up can take a long time, up to 20 minutes. The monastery is about 200 kilometers or 125 miles west of Georgia's capital city. And it's not easy to reach because there's no public transport that goes all the way there. You can only get there by bus or car. Even though it's hard to reach, I've heard it's worth the effort. It's considered one of the world's most isolated and sacred churches. So, for those of you who love God and enjoy climbing to really high places, this might be the perfect adventure for you. Number 11. Fort Boyard is like a big castle in the Atlantic Ocean near France. 
It was supposed to be a defensive castle to protect the shores, but it took a really long time to build. Construction started in 1662, but the architects realized it was too expensive and would take too much time, so they stopped building it. For more than 150 years, it just sat there incomplete. In 1802, Napoleon thought it would be useful and decided to finish it. So, after a lot of years, Fort Boyard was finally completed in 1858. It's a big oval-shaped structure, about 330 feet by 160 feet. The ground floor has sleeping quarters, and the upper levels are for storing cannons and ammo. It would be cool to spend a weekend there, waking up with the sea all around. I really need a vacation. Number 10. King Richard III was found buried in an unexpected place, under a parking lot in Leicester. Unlike what you might expect for a king, he wasn't in a grand tomb or castle. Scientists did tests on his remains, and they confirmed that the DNA matched his descendants. The bones were also dated to be from the years 1455 to 1540, and they belonged to a man in his late twenties or mid-thirties. King Richard Ely died in battle in 1485 at the age of 32, so it seems to be him. The parking lot is now a protected historical site, and the king's remains have been moved to the cathedral. If you want to visit him, that's where you can find him, a more fitting place for a king like him. Number 9. The Stanley R. Mickelson Safeguard Complex is like a place from a science fiction movie. It's in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and it looks kind of like a mix between the Pyramids of Giza and what I imagine Area 51 looks like. The complex is owned and run by the United States government. It can launch 100 missiles of two types and keep an eye on the whole world's airspace to see if any missiles are headed towards the US. It might seem perfect for a post-apocalyptic film because of its vibe, but it's actually just a regular place where the US government does its work. The public rarely gets to see pictures of this place, but a photographer named Benjamin Halpern was allowed to come and take pictures of the buildings and structures. The buildings are not only impressive in how they function, but also in how they look. Number 8. In Bosnia, there's a really big and mysterious rock sphere. It's believed to be the oldest stone sphere made by humans, which is pretty cool. The rock was found in a forest outside a town. Some archaeologists, including a controversial one, dug it up after seeing part of it sticking out of the ground. However, there's a debate about whether the rock is authentic because the scientist who found it made some mistakes before. Even though the scientist's claims are unique, other experts have found similar human-made rocks worldwide, like in Costa Rica. So, it's good to be a bit skeptical about the findings. But still, the rock's size and perfect shape are really impressive. Number 7. Bombay Beach in California is not a relaxing place like most beaches. Instead, it's full of fish bones, abandoned houses, and a weird, eerie vibe. A long time ago, this place was just a desert. But then, someone had the idea to bring water from the Colorado River. It worked, and families came for vacations. But soon, too many people and industries moved there. They polluted the water, making it toxic and killing the animals. Now, it's a smelly lagoon with dead fish and a deserted beach made of fish bones, not sand. People left quickly, and the area decayed into what it is today. Number 6. The rocks in Death Valley are special. Unlike regular rocks, these rocks move on their own, even though they're not supposed to. This is weird because it goes against the rules of science. Death Valley is super hot and dry, and it's also the lowest place in North America. It became a national park in 1933. These moving rocks are called the sailing stones. They come in different sizes and shapes. The strange thing is that no one has actually seen them move. People only know they move because they leave trails behind, and their positions change when people come and go. It's a bit mysterious, and some people think maybe aliens are involved. If you've ever been to see these rocks, share your experience in the comments. Number 5. Guess where the best place in the world to find old sea mammal bones is. It's not in the ocean or on the beaches. Surprisingly, it's in the Chilean desert, 40 miles above the sea. 
They call it Cerro Balina, which means Whale Hill in Spanish. Construction workers found it in 2010 while working on the Pan American Highway. Scientists think that a long time ago, there was a type of bacteria that killed many whales. The dead whales then ended up on the shores of what is now the Atacama Desert. In this desert, there's a place with four different layers of fossils. These fossils are perfectly preserved and come from various animals, dating back to six to nine million years ago. This suggests that there are several times when a lot of animals in the area died off at once. Number four. There's this cool place called Little Alien. It's in a town called Ratchland in Nevada, super close to the famous Area 51 in Roswell. The hotel has a spooky alien theme that fits right in with the whole alien vibe of the town. It's been owned by a family for 25 years and is doing really well. So, if you ever find yourself near Area 51, you might want to check it out and maybe even stay there. It would be so cool to look for aliens. Number 3. One day, a man named Jose Antonio Neves went for a walk in Argentina. While walking near a local farm, he found something really surprising. It was a huge fossilized shell of an ancient animal called a glyptodont, which is like an old type of armadillo. The shell was about three feet long. When Jose first saw it, he thought it might be a dinosaur egg, but it turned out to be the shell of this ancient armadillo relative. Scientists checked it and noticed a hole on the top. At first, they thought it was for the head to peek out, but later, they realized it was just from wear and tear. Even though it wasn't a dinosaur egg, it was still a cool discovery. Imagine just taking a walk by the river and finding something so interesting. Number 2. Avashu Falls is number 2 on our list. You might have seen it before as it's a common background on calendars. Havasu Falls is a famous natural wonder in the United States, often confused with Havasu Lake, which is also beautiful. The height between the two is tough. Havasu Falls is located on the Havasupe Indian Reservation, just outside the Grand Canyon National Park. The falls drop more than 100 feet into a clear, bluish-green pool of water. It's not dirty green like bacteria, it's a nice color. The name Havasupe means people of the blue-green waters. The water's bluish tint comes from magnesium, and as the pool deepens, calcium carbonate is released, creating a deeper blue color. Jumping off the falls into the pool sounds fun, but I wonder if it's safe for someone with vertigo. Number 1. The Buzzwadza Monument is on a mountain in Bulgaria. It's a big round monument that reminds people of an important time in history for the Soviets. In 1868, there was a big battle between Bulgarians and Turks on this mountain. In 1891, Demeter Blykov and some socialist thinkers went there to talk about the future of Soviet rule. To remember all this, the Soviet government built a huge monument starting in 1974 with the help of many builders and architects. After the Soviet Union fell in 1989, the building was left alone. You can still get inside through a side door that's not locked, but shh, it's a secret. I didn't tell you. Who knows who might be listening? Seeing all this makes me want to travel more. There are so many amazing things in the world to see and learn from. If you could only pick one crazy thing from this list to visit, which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. Also, Check out the other cool things on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.